happy 51st anniversary of the moon. I can't believe we've had the moon for 51 years. Hello there, viewers of, of Mr. Bean on our YouTube channel, or Slurpers, as he calls them. I'm afraid you're no longer viewing experience but have a few interruptions with highly important information. Please stand by. It's been a full year since I last talked about the moon. Go watch that video, by the way. And I wanted to know, has anything really happened since the- No. I mean, NASA and SpaceX came together to shoot some people into space, but... Just space. So I really don't have any new material. I would go over pop culture references that I missed last time, but... I'd rather you guys tell me what to do, and, uh, you guys have told me to do nothing, so... You may be wondering why I have come into this video. Well, I have some information that I need to get out, but I can't hack it onto any popular channel. Slurpy the Dog has negative one subscribers, so I can easily put it here. The information? Aliens are on the moon. I thought about it for a while, and then I realized something. I discovered- It's been 51 years since the moon landing. And what also has 51 in it? An area. And what does that area have about it? Conspiracy theories. So, let's talk about some moon conspiracy theories today. Yeah. Oh, jeez! first discovered evidence of aliens being on the moon on March 22nd, 2020. On May 16th of that year, we determined that yes, there were aliens on the moon. Their motives, intentions, unbeknownst to us. However, communications are being made. <laughs> Back in the olden days, people didn't even know what the moon was. But for a while, they recognized its holes. I can fix that. Two thousand years later. Cheese was invented. But cheese had one very important thing. Holes. Because of this, people thought that the thing in the sky, and cheese, were holes. This theory can easily be disproven by the fact that I'm the moon, but if you don't believe that, I have some more evidence. When Apollo 11 happened, the astronauts secretly tried to taste the moon, but they couldn't because then they'd have to lose their oxygen. However, they did start bringing moon rocks back and they found... It, yeah, it wasn't cheese. Although apparently you can get high from it, okay then. I would like to mention that I do not work for NASA, in fact. We have been covering this up from NASA. And also, no, we're not the SCP Foundation. I'm sorry, everybody. But we cannot. <laughs> So, because the moon is the moon, it doesn't actually have any wind. So when Apollo 11 placed down the flag and it waved, people were like, Well, I guess we didn't go to the moon! The truth is, NASA scientists just did a really cool programming thing that allowed the flag to always be look like it's flapping. Checkmate, crackpots. The communications have successfully reached the aliens. Now we can only hope that they understand Earth's language so they can make a proper response. 
If not, a response at all would be very nice. <laughs> I actually touched on this in my previous video, but I thought it was the one part of the video that I really didn't handle well. So, I'm covering it here. Essentially, when Neil Armstrong said, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. People were quick to point out that within the context, man and mankind would have meant the same thing. Which made a lot of people believe that Neil didn't know what he was saying up there. The correct thing would have been to say, one small step for a man. Neil claims this is actually what he said, and it's just hard to hear due to the limited technology. But honestly, to me it really does sound like he's saying, for man. Anyways, I hope this explains why I put the fawns in a Where's Waldo picture. I have brief, but exciting news. The aliens have contacted us back. They say... <laughs> Well... Surprise! Give me the aliens, please. How? How did you get here? A YouTuber who has editing skills can accomplish anything in their videos. I have a gun! Oh, I'm not sure if we should use that right now. Oh, yeah. That, that's... That, that's... I could still probably fight you, though. Well, that may be true. I am pretty weak. However... I have a powerful ally. <laughs> Greetings, darlings! God, who's that? Oh, uh, I found a spellbook and the only page I could decipher was the one on summoning him, so... Oh, it was a dreadful experience. Well then... Come at me! <laughs> Oh, I'll bring it on, all right. <laughs> well, uh, he's dead. You can tell that he's dead? I'm a very powerful sorcerer. I can tell that he's dead! <gasps> oh, will you look at that? I've got to go. Well, I searched the place and I couldn't find any Scandinavian people or Lyndon B. Johnson, so I'm afraid we're going to have to end the video here. But, uh, so long, Slurpers. Slurp. <laughs> See you next time.